In this example, we will be finding the square root of 50. In order to find the square root of 50, let's first review an important math concept. To find the square root of a times b, where a and b are both just numbers, we can separate those out into the square root of a times the square root of b. So we'd have two separate square roots multiplied by each other. Now we can take a look at the square root of 50. We can see that it separates up into 25 and 2. So there are other factors of 50, such as 5 and 10, but I chose 25 and 2 because 25 is a perfect square. So now we can rewrite the square root of 50 as a square root of 25 times 2, which we can then rewrite as a square root of 25 times the square root of 2. Now we can notice that because the square root of 25 is a perfect square, we'll get the value 5 here because 5 times 5 gives us 25. Therefore, the square root of 50 can then be written as 5 root 2, or 5 times root 2. We can also estimate the square root of 50 to the nearest whole number by doing the following procedure. We want to look at the perfect squares nearby to 50, so we can try values such as 6 squared, which gives us 36, 7 squared, which gives us 49, and 8 squared, which gives us 64. We can then see that 50 lies between 49 and 64. Therefore, we will take a look at these square roots. So we know that the square root of 49 will be less than the square root of 50, and that will be less than the square root of 64. We can replace the square root of 49 with 7 because 7 squared gives us 49. And then we can replace the square root of 64 with 8 because 8 squared gives us 64. Now we can see that the square root of 50 lies between 7 and 8. In order to find out which value it's closer to, we want to look at the difference between the perfect squares and our value. So we can do 50 minus 49 to see there's a difference of just 1 between 49 and 50, whereas for 64 minus 50, we can see that there is a difference of 14. Because 1 is a smaller difference than 14, we can see that the square root of 50 will be a lot closer to 7 than it is to 8. Because of this, we can now say the square root of 50 can be approximated to about 7. So, for our final answer, we can say the square root of 50 simplifies to 5 times the square root of 2. And also, if we estimate the square root of 50, we'll find out that it's approximately 7.